If you're planning to apply to medical schools in Canada, you're in the right place because today we're going to be revealing the medical school stats for Canada's top medical schools. We're not presenting numbers, we're also analyzing trends and highlighting things that may be important for this upcoming cycle. Trust me, you don't want to miss this, watch till the end. Now, let's first start with Queen's University. Queen's University is a very popular choice and it's evident in the numbers. Last year, they received over 5,131 applications. One reason that Queen's might receive a lot of applications is because it doesn't require any additional essays past the ABS. They interviewed 638 applicants and the average accepted GPA out of the accepted pool was 3.76. You also need to keep in mind that Queen's also considers your MCAT and the average accepted MCAT was a 514. The accepted class was a total of 139 students. Queen's is what's referred to as a black box, which means that we barely know anything about the application process. One thing we know for certain is that they really value a high MCAT score. That means if you want a good shot at Queen's, make sure you have a competitive MCAT. I also want to mention that the average GPA for the accepted students at Queen's has gone down significantly in the past year. So make sure that your GPA is as high as possible so you have that competitive edge. I'd also like to mention the class size, which is around 139 medical students this year. This marks the lowest class size across all Ontario medical schools. McMaster University is up next. Receiving 5,330 applications, McMaster is no exception to tough competition. They only interviewed 560 applicants, which is almost 80 less than Queen's. The average accepted GPA for McMaster's medical school was 3.9. And as you know, McMaster puts a lot of emphasis on the car section. Therefore, their average car score was 129, and they took 221 students this year, which is higher than most years. If you're aiming for McMaster's medical school, you really need to make sure you do well on cars. If you want more tips on cars, check out these videos. Their larger class size might give you more opportunities to get accepted, but you need to make sure that you do well in all three of these categories to be considered for an interview. Moving on to the University of Ottawa. This year, they received 4,962 applications and 576 of those applications were selected for interviews, totaling to a class size of 183 students. It's also important to note that their average accepted GPA isn't exactly published, but you best believe that it's supposed to be over 3.9 given that they don't evaluate the MCAT. Yes, you heard that right. Ottawa does not care about the MCAT. Ottawa is known for its emphasis on high GPA, and the stats show this very clearly. However, a new standard introduced this year means that people who live around Ottawa will have preference to get into the medical school, much like Nassau. Also, keep in mind that as of now, this GPA is unofficial, so stay updated with Ottawa's particular requirements. Now, let's shift our focus to Shield School of Dentistry and Medicine, or in other words, Western University. Western received over 2,400 applications, and although the exact number of interviewees was not stated, Western did mention that they interviewed around 450 applicants. The average GPA for the accepted pool was a 3.93. We also need to consider the MCAT because Western considers three out of the four sections on the MCAT, bio, biochem, chem physics, as well as cars. The average for bio, biochem was a 128. 128 was also the average for cars, and for chem and physics, it was a 127. While you don't have to get above the MCAT cutoffs for Western University as published on their site, it is important to aim for that 128 to be as competitive as possible because that is the average MCAT score across each section for those accepted medical school applicants. Keep in mind as well that their average GPA is a weighted GPA and they take your best two years. So that 3.93 number is the average of your best two years. Lastly, we have the Northern Ontario School of Medicine or NASA. They received 1,667 applications out of which they interviewed 332 individuals. Their average GPA was 3.78 and they only accepted 79 people. That's it. NASM's smaller class size aligns with its mission to prepare physicians for underserved communities. If you're interested in community-focused healthcare, NASM could be an ideal choice for you. Their GPA, although not as high as other schools, could be a significant factor because they don't consider the MCAT. 
Lastly, let's explore the University of Toronto. In the previous year, U of T received 4,263 applications, making it highly competitive. Only 639 applicants were fortunate enough to receive interviews. After interviews were all said and done, over 270 students were accepted into the medical school. This class size is the biggest across all Ontario medical schools. Also, their average accepted GPA was a 3.93. Now, if you look at these statistics carefully, you can see that there's a clear emphasis on GPA. And if you want to get into U of T, then make sure your academic record is as strong as it can be. Another interesting fact is that if you receive an interview from U of T, you have a 42% chance after that of getting into medical school. And those are extremely high odds for medical school. So if you get an interview, you're extremely lucky. Now, I know that after hearing all these statistics, you might feel overwhelmed, but the point of this video is not that. Our goal is to use our time to help you improve your application for one of the most competitive application systems in the world. If you learned something by watching this video, please be sure to like and subscribe, and please do share with your friends who are hoping to get into the Ontario Medical Schools later on in their lives. We'll be posting a part two, including the other Canadian medical schools, so stay tuned for that. We're also back to posting consistent videos, so stay tuned for all of our videos every Monday. See you next Monday. Oh,